Hello, my name is Chloe and welcome to my podcast. Today I will be discussing three adaptations of Ophelia's breakdown in Act 4, Scene 5 of Hamlet. These include Helena Bonham Carter, Kate Winslet, and Julia Stiles. Firstly, let's go over the scene and its key components. This is a very important scene for Ophelia. After being used as a pawn throughout the play and losing both her father and feeling heartbroken over Hamlet, Ophelia finally breaks and as Claudia states, is divided from herself and her fair judgment. Line 59, Act 4, Scene 5. She enters into the court dressed fantastically with straws and flowers and says poignantly, Where is the beauteous majesty of Denmark? Line 20, Act 4, Scene 5. Clearly indicating her disappointment with the country and events going on around her. She also sings about her heartbreak and grief over her father's death, saying, He is dead and gone, lady, he is dead and gone. Line 26, Act 4, Scene 5. And, with reference to Hamlet, saying, Before you tumbled me, you promised me to wed. He answers, So what I had done, by yonder sun, and thou hast not come to my bed. Lines 44 to 48, Act 4, Scene 5. This indicates that Ophelia is both heartbroken from Hamlet and grieving her father's death. Alright, now let's get down to business. I believe that Helena Bonham Carter's portrayal of Ophelia in the Mel Gibson adaptation is the most accurate representation of her abject frustration. The scenery is much more medieval than the other two films, featuring cruder stone architecture and simpler costumes. The lighting is more subdued, which adds to the muted tones of the setting. This all works together to create a moody atmosphere. As for Helena, her hair is disheveled and her makeup is made to make her look dirty. Her facial expressions and body language are also very well acted. She makes distorted wide-eyed faces and her movements are abrupt and shaky. She doesn't rely on screaming to portray her frustration like the other versions, rather she uses non-verbal communication to emphasize her madness. I think this allows the lines to better speak for themselves. I think that Kate Winslet's portrayal is a close second when it comes to portraying Ophelia's frustration. The scenery is a grand court with ornate architecture. It is bright and well lit, but with minimal props. I think that the stark contrast between the beautiful castle and Ophelia's disheveled attire highlights her madness. It makes her look out of place, which in turn emphasizes her insanity. The scene opens with her laying on the floor in a straitjacket, looking like a mess. This isn't as the text portrays her, as it says she comes in dressed fantastically. The straight jacket is a very easy way to point out her insanity, which I think is a bit of a cop-out. Her voice echoes around the room and there is no background music. It leaves everything up to the acting. Her voice changes from soft to louder as she gets more worked up, emphasizing certain lines. However, she often smiles despite the words she is saying, which may emphasize her madness but does take away from her grief and frustration. Overall, it is clear that Ophelia is crazy, but the delivery of the lines and body language don't portray her frustration and grief as well as Helena Bonham Carter. Lastly, bringing up the rear, we have Julia Stiles' portrayal in the Ethan Hawke adaptation. I do not believe that this film accurately portrays Ophelia's object frustration. The setting is simple, a modern-looking building with lower floors of people milling about, visible in the background. The lighting is subdued and the lack of color and props adds to the moodiness of the scene. The costume is more true to the text, as Julia Stiles is adorned in feathers. However, her hair is done up in a neat hairstyle and she looks put together. There is minimal speaking from Ophelia in this version, and we mostly just see her screeching. I do not think this is a good portrayal, as it is clear from the text that Ophelia has a lot to say, despite her madness. Yet, the Ethan Hawke version portrays her as unable to express herself verbally. I believe this does a disservice to her character because this is a pivotal scene for her, as she expresses both her grief and heartbreak and thoughts on Denmark. To conclude, I believe that in order to best represent Ophelia's abject frustration, the scene should portray her as a disheveled, crazy girl, yet highlight the words she is saying. I think that the Kate Winslet one was slightly too over the top with this, as we see Ophelia acting very crazy, laying on the floor, screaming, spinning around, and dressed in a straitjacket. The grief is not as well expressed as in Helena Bonham Carter's version, where we see it portrayed through her nonverbal expressions, the tone of her voice. As for the Julia Stiles version, it lacked both the grief and madness, as we mainly just see her screaming and we don't really get to hear her talking. Overall, Helena Bonham Carter most accurately portrayed Ophelia in this scene of grief, madness, and heartbreak. She utilized facial expression, body movement, and the tone of her voice to express Ophelia's emotion. 
the scenery complemented the dreariness and moodiness of the lines being spoken, and the costumes highlighted Ophelia's disarray. Together, this worked to best portray Ophelia's abject frustration throughout the play and in this pivotal scene. So that concludes this episode of my podcast. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for tuning in. The following are the sources used throughout the creation of this podcast. Hamlet director Franco Zeffirelli, performer Mel Gibson, Glenn Close, Alan Bates, Warner Bros. 1990, Hamlet director Kenneth Branagh, performer Kenneth Branagh, Julie Christie, Derek Jacoby, Warner Bros. 1996, and Hamlet director Michael Almereda, performer Ethan Hawke, Kyle McLaughlin, and Diane Venora, 2000. The text used was Shakespeare, William, Hamlet, edited by Marilyn Eisenstadt, Harcourt, Canada, 1988, print. The music used was L'Imperatrice Sonate Pacifique, Sonate Pacifique EP, 2014.